Hey, what's going on YouTube? Uh, this is Melvin, and in this video, I'm pretty much going to show you guys how to use AirDroid. That's an application that you could download on your on your Android phone, and you also have to uh, sort of just favorite it on your web browser, or just have the link on so you can access it from your web browser or from your computer. All right, so let's get started. I'm going to click on my icon. As you can see, it's in my favorites. I'm going to sign in. But instead of signing in, I'm just going to scan the barcode using my smartphone, which in this case is the Samsung Galaxy S3. And here we go. So first, I'm going to show you... Well, pretty much I'm going to explain the application a little bit. You pretty much connect to your Android phone from your computer uh, without using any cables. And... You, all you have to do is be on the same Wi-Fi network or on the same network so we're going to start with messages I can pretty much these are just some random numbers I created earlier you can pretty much text anybody through here and it was another text from your phone so you can receive and send text from here so just a nice way if <laughs> in most cases I, I don't have my phone well I don't really use AirDroid to text but if you didn't want to um, you could do it that way. Um, you can see all the apps that you have installed on your on your Android phone. Uh, from here, you could pretty much select to uninstall them or download them to your computer. Which, in my opinion, you don't really have to download them to your computer since they all save on your Google account. You can see the system. Yeah, so uninstalled, download. You also have files over here with you could pretty much just look at all the folders within your SD card and your external memory. Uh, photos. You can look at the photos that you've taken on your phone from here. That'd be nice. Let's see. Task wallpaper and download. So this is enough of my photos. Next we have music. Oh uh, yeah, it's, that shortcut is not working for some reason, so I have to manually find my music, which is no big deal. And these are all the music that are on my phone right now. So one cool thing I like about this is that You can pretty much just play music, uh, stream music from your phone on your computer. That's pretty cool. Ringtones. You can pretty much set the ringtones um, for your phone. So, for example, I chose this one here. So whenever I receive a phone call, this is going to be my ringtone. So I'm using this one, the singularity, singularity. Notifications, you can pretty much set your notifications also. Which I have this one, which is what you might have heard earlier. And you can also set the alarms for your phone. So, you know, it's pretty nice. Where you can just set everything from your computer and not look around on your phone. Videos could view all the videos on your phone I'm going to show you one of me rocking out my guitar uh, the quality of when the recording was taken was kind of bad which is why it looks blurry here but like I've put this one let's a little bit So that's the video quality, or how to access videos from your computer. Call logs, not going to get into. Contacts, frequent, screenshots, camera. You can use a camera from your, from your phone. 
Oh, by the way, I used that little guy right there to launch our droid, which is why you didn't see it earlier because it's on my second monitor. And oh, I almost forgot. You can have multiple desktops, so in case you feel like you're getting cluttered. Got two, three, four. You can access your messages from here, call, notifications, and languages. And also you can pretty much move everything around. Oh, yeah. You can move this. You can go into details about your phone. So yeah, definitely uh a nice app here to have. I'll go ahead and sign out. And let me show you my other Android device. Nexus 7. Uh, yeah, this one does have the image, so that's pretty nice. Oh, so this is just a basic account. This is where you're not logged in. So let me go ahead and log in to my account. Damn, they spotted me. Yeah, for some reason it's not working. Which is fine. See, so once I'm logged in, I create a shortcut for my music. And you can pretty much add folders. Go premium. Check out your account. And, well, that's it. Um, thanks for so much for checking out this video on how to use AirDroid, and I hope you have a good one.